In this video we're going to explore an old but good document created by Andy Jarvis. It lists some of the shortcuts that are scattered throughout Autopart. In this particular video I'm going to concentrate on the one specifically in point of sale. The first shortcut I will show you is accessed by pressing Ctrl and A on the customer details screen in point of sale. First of all make sure you've got a customer in, then hit the Ctrl and A and this will bring back the delivery addresses associated with that particular customer. When in the product details tab you can click on a part that you may have sold to a customer previously and if you press Ctrl and L it will bring back the last sold information. You may be in the middle of entering a large order for a specific customer when say a cash customer walks in and you need to create a new sale on the spot. You can do this by pressing Ctrl and N, enter your new customer, put in whatever it is the customer requires, make the sale. Once that particular order has been dealt with, you can then press Ctrl and R and it returns you back to where you were on your previous order. After entering a customer and either point to sale or manual stock allocation, you can enter the customer detail screen by pressing Ctrl and D. In point of sale product details, suggested ordering and purchase ordering, if you highlight a part, you can then press Ctrl and S and bring up the supplier details. Once again in the product details tab, if we select a part, we can get cost information by pressing Shift and 5. What's actually displayed is controlled by a spec which can be modified. A number of different suffixes can be used after the entry of the quantity in the product details grid. For example, if you hit 1 and then the letter D, this will denote a direct delivery. This will update your usages but not downdate your stock. Entering an E after the quantity will denote that it's an exceptional sale. This will downdate your stock but not update your usages. Entering a B after the quantity will denote a back order and the line will also turn blue in order to signify that it's a back order. If you enter an S into the grid, the system will only charge the selling surcharge value. I do hope you found this short video useful and thanks for watching. If you would like to be kept up to date with the ongoing developments at MAM Software, then please follow us on social media, YouTube and our community portal.